Okay, so can't go live anymore because the matrix is not operating at the moment to allow that. As I said before, we're spiritual beings in a physical body. Our thought creates reality and we're all connected and we live in a matrix. The matrix controls everything. It is controlled by a god, entity and and the vast majority of humans on the earth that are his, her minions or followers, disciples, um, those that operate and control the matrix because matrix is not a free operating system and as you can imagine a god depending on the god's mindset that will be how our world or our matrix operates and how we um, must follow in line with that so that that's how a matrix works um, you know it's not it's not random it's a video game that is controlled and set up and we play in it as I've said before most of us play in it including myself 95% of the time unwittingly and unknowingly because we don't consciously think this you know even if we believe in the God entity or a God we often still think that we ourselves, and we do have free will, but everything around us is the matrix. So even though we have free, free will, and even that is kind of debatable, because once you think a certain way, your ideas, your thoughts are manipulated, or, or you, you adapt to your environment, shall we say. I know I have. So basically my whole life I have been... Um, directed by the matrix you play along with it you are um, controlled by it literally even though you do have free will you could say hey I um, you can't escape or get away from it because it's you're in this matrix world but you can um, make decisions um, if you if, what I would say is that this is my own experience if I had made correct spiritual decisions my whole life then the matrix would not perhaps be as negative as what it actually is now that doesn't mean that you're still not controlled by it but um you know we're in a matrix but we still are spiritual beings so it's kind of strange it's very complicated in the sense that and i don't know if this is totally true because I didn't do this I made all the wrong decisions so the world it appears to be even more negative but it is negative too but I think that people who think positive and who do the right thing spiritually in other words when every decision in your life that you are confronted with you make a positive life affirming choice a correct choice a um, a, a spiritually kind of positive um, decision you know that that is what you know should be the right decision really and this is where this world is strange now because I think that we are now the matrix now does play with this even more and yet we are at a low intellectual level in a way because we have so much technology so that tends to make us dependent on that instead of us making our own free choices so therefore we the matrix is stronger they're testing us even more the matrix is testing people even more and then like myself we've been brought down to a very low level because we've made the wrong decisions and went along you see you are faced in the matrix with positive or negative choices in the decisions you make and if the matrix will try to direct you to the negative because otherwise you're not really tested you see that's what you don't realize so the test will be hard and you will be faced with um, the easy decision which is probably negative because it will be easy or the hard decision which will be positive and you know because if you just had a choice and it was easy both ways 
um, the spiritual being would not be tested and would not be pushed to the limit, which is the idea of it, because that is why this matrix exists, I think. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't, but I'm not going to go there. That wasn't what the video is. But like I say, I can't stream live now because I haven't got a computer. I've only got the mobile phone, you see. And they brought in a new rule that you can't stream unless you've got so many subscribers, and I've only got a few. So, um, you know, I'm, I would have to be another 10 years before I get that amount to be able to stream. I just thought I'd say that in case people have wondered why I haven't been streaming live for a bit also I haven't been very well either so I didn't even realize this till about a week ago when I went to stream live or you know but anyway because you see in my country the rules have changed now because the matrix as I say creates incidents creates the reality around us and then the matrix can change the reality just like, um, you know, that that's just an example of it. In other words, something that was can be changed in the blink of an eye because we do not, con I do not control the matrix. The matrix controls me, you know. So anyway, but anyway, if I have got a little bit of space left on my phone, I'm going to, I was going to do a few videos in that time, but unfortunately I was not able to. But I'm, I'm going to try to get my thoughts together and I will go into fantasy world again. And I hope that some people don't mind this. It is fantasy, okay? Now I'm trying to get my thoughts here. I had an idea. This is fantasy. And it will be kind of um, back to the fantasy of heaven and earth. I say fantasy because this is appropriate for the Matrix now, okay? And it, it may not be fantasy to me. It will probably be fantasy to you because I believe in fairy tales. I believe in fantasies. My fantasies become my reality. That's me, but that doesn't mean it's yours. But I'm going to just tell you my fantasies anyway and you can laugh or you can enjoy them or you can take something out of it so there might be some truth there or there might be nothing whatever you want okay um so i'll try to get it going my fantasy in the heaven and earth scenario and i'm not very up on all this sort of stuff these things just come to me in little bits i'm not biblically um knowledgeable I'm not religiously knowledgeable. I don't have particular... I have not all my life had any particular denominations, beliefs, religions or whatever. I will honestly tell you that. I have not been strong one way or the other. I have just played along with the matrix world, okay? Mostly wrongly because now, um, like I say, I do think that if you make wrong choices and go along with the negative aspects of the matrix instead of going along with the higher spiritual um, aspects of being a human being, which is what we should do, I think, but which I haven't done, um, then you will be a lot less likely to be manoeuvred further into the negative aspects of the matrix, shall we say. But anyway... The, the, the fantasy I'm going to talk about is a heaven and earth thing. Now, I know nothing about heaven and earth, and I have not believed in heaven and earth, but I am going to go into that fantasy thing. Okay? If I can. That's if the Matrix doesn't offer me too much opposition, because the Matrix may or may not like my stories. The God entity might be bored with my... Um, fairy tales today and he might say I don't think I want to listen but I will give it a go um, okay so in the original fantasy idea of heaven and earth I would think and this is just coming to me now okay I would think that we would have had a heaven and a god now in the story which i have only remnants of 
And so I'm going to fill in the rest to my own fantasy imagination, okay? As best I can. We have a God and we had an individual, I believe, that was God's number one, God's most revered, God's most... Um, proud follower he's and I say he I just have to use that because I would not know what the God is in gender uh, thing because the God would probably be a little bit not above that but um, you know it's not that important but at the same time I would have to say that If God, the God that created a human being, say, in the fantasy world, like in the Garden of Eden and created a human being, and that was created after the image of God, because that's what I think it says, then that would imply, I think, that the human being has the spark of God in him or her. And it was created in two separate individuals, a male and a female, too. Evidently, this is the fantasy story that I have always been told, and it is certainly the reality now for some of us, because we do live in a, a very confused matrix now, which is testing everyone and what they think about things to the limit. So we do have to try to think very clearly about everything around us, but instead we don't, like me, you go along and you don't actually think that anything is that important and you certainly don't think that your individual thinking about something is important. But I would say now that it actually does because, as I say, if we're spiritual beings and our thought creates reality and we're all connected, despite the technology which hinders that around us. Um, that means that each individual's thinking does affect other individuals. So therefore, um, even though you know, I might be insignificant in my own reality existence, there is still that interaction. And that is why this world likes to give us um, figures to admire and to copy and to emulate, etc., um, which we do. We have our own little human gods that we worship, as I've um, been noticing, and I've done it all my life, more because I did not see the real God or see any reality to a universal God. You see, so um, so they influence us, the, the other human beings that are more... Um, more um, in the limelight, shall we say, that we see on our technical devices, if you want it. So the technology rules us in many ways and interferes with, not only interferes with our extension of our pushing our thoughts out to other people, but influences what we are thinking. So we are sending out the programs of the technology, not what we would necessarily think without the technology. That I do not know, of course. That will that's for you to decide because it's it's possible that you might still think the same. But I would say that that would be unlikely, because you know if I'm, you know, you know that I would say that would be extremely unlikely, and it's certainly not been the case in my case because the influence of um, the media. Uh, the movies that I like to watch, um, which I use, do videos even on, and these are, they they are programmed into you and therefore what is programmed into you is your thinking and that goes out to other human beings. You know, and, that, and I think the reason the technology is much stronger now is because the matrix um, has to keep the humans us at the low frequency because the matrix does only exist in a low frequency. Yes, so I am saying that the world could possibly disintegrate if we raise our frequency. So 
So some people might say, well, we better keep depressed and low because, and, and go along with the matrix because otherwise our world will disintegrate. Well, no, actually, I don't think that is the case at all. But certainly the matrix as we know it would change. And it's, for, and it's for us to decide which way we want it to change. But that is hard if we are um, programmed to stay in a low frequency, which, you know, and which we've got used to. We almost think that is natural and normal. Um, we think that it is natural and normal to have the love hate, to have the um, to have the systems and the matrix around us. We don't we don't think that 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 is a matrix. We think that's a free world, but it's not a free world because it's an artificial matrix. That's just the reality of our world. We do not live in a free natural world. We do not live out. That's our illusion of what the world is. It's not a it's not, a, we, and also I'll go back to, I've gone off track again. I haven't got the time either because the video will run out. As you can see, I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, go back to the fantasy. Garden of Eden. God put humans who had the spark of him onto the matrix earth. Back then, it probably was not a matrix as we know it now. I personally, in my fantasy delusional world and my idealised version and my loving fantasy of what we once were, in that world we were placed onto a natural earth with 100% everything living, organic. Not an artificial matrix like we now live in. Not only consciously, and we know is real by technology, but to where it really is not the same world it really is an artificial constructed matrix it, it appears to look similar although it would have been beautiful back in the beginning because it would not have been changed by the negative controlling matrix god entity and his minions because this is this is the scenario okay this is the fantasy scenario god was there is the heaven, the earth. Earth is now hell. Um, earth is hell. Heaven is outside of earth. That is heaven and hell or heaven and earth because earth is now hell. Earth is not um, the original paradise um, natural world where we were in sync with nature, with animals, with all life and we were all life and we were all spiritual and we were male and female and we were meant to um, spread ourselves round amongst the animals and the natural world. Now this was created by the God, the creator God that created us, what most of us think is God but is actually not because we, are, we worship the matrix God and his world because that is the world we live in. Some of us know this, some of us don't, whatever. But um, in the original world, yes, there was the heaven. There was our creator God that created humans. Only humans, by the way. Because there are different life forces now because we are in a matrix. So everything is not all natural, which is common sense. Um, whereas originally it was all the creator God who is natural and all life was natural. The earth was all natural. Now it is all technical and artificial. It's a different reality, a different, um, I was about to say a different matrix, but if you want to look at it that way, the original matrix, because maybe it's all, a ma all matrixes in a way, but the original matrix was 100% natural and created for us and we were meant to create in it because we have the spark of the creator God so therefore we must be creators too that is why I say our thought creates reality but our reality and our thinking is controlled by the matrix now because it's a different reality we've moved into a different reality our original world was destroyed 
shall we say, does not exist anymore. Which, well, you know, I'm not going to go there because I, how could I know? But I could have my fantasy ideas. But I'll leave that for another video, maybe, if I'm still doing them. Now, yes, in the original heaven, there was the creator God that created and decided to spread his, her seed out there and so created a human being with a spark of that divine God in them so that our creator God could, felt like spreading him herself out and expanding. Now, the other thing, and there were probably many beings, I suppose, obviously in heaven. I do not know. I cannot remember. I would, you know, I would not know. But this is the fantasy. This is the fantasy I'm saying. There was another being called Lucifer, Satan, whatever word you want to use, I don't really know the real name, light bearer, God's chosen, number one in heaven at the time. God loved Lucifer. Lucifer was um, revered by God. I'm told that there is a biblical thing where it says, um, something to the effect that he was the enlightened, um, prized friend, follower, whatever of the God, creator God at that time until iniquity was found in him. It says that somewhere. And this is the fantasy I'm taking. it. Um, and that iniquity was that the um, this wonderful being was so wonderful and became so wonderful and served God too, I believe, very well because he was honoured and regulated to a high position because of this. So he was greatly admired. But, you know, the story goes that this led to this being secretly, perhaps, becoming a little conceited, shall we say, because it was reasonable for this being to think well of itself because it was um, a wonderful being. And God, the God creator being, thought so too. So it was not unjustified for it or, you know, I don't like to use these he, she, it things, but what can I do? You know, I don't know. And these days you have to be careful. And also we do not know about the, you know, they're, these are God beings, so they're not the, exactly the same as us. But like I say, we were created in male and female by the original creator God. Evidently this is, and this is the reality, although that is changing. But so there must be significance to it at some sort of creator level. That's all I'm saying. But any rate, um, but I think that the Lucifer was a beautiful being, evidently, originally, okay? This may not be the case now. I do not know. But I would have to speculate. This is the fantasy, okay? I'm taking it to this fantasy thing. Now, um, the, yes, iniquity was found by the creator God in this being because the being secretly, and he was admired and had many followers too, even though they were all one at this time, because this is heaven where everyone is in sync and in harmony and um, follows the creator God and there is free will and there is love. Etc. It's not a it's not a negative love or 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 it's not like our matrix where it's all it's not all love, it's not all harmony. It's love hate. That's the duality of the God entity, which is the fallen angel, which is 
the being that we are speaking of in this fantasy story in the God creation. The iniquity was found in Lucifer, Satan. There are technological names because this being then became technological later on after he was, he, she was um, told to leave heaven because the being was um, influential and loved by many in heaven. And the being, Lucifer, Satan, secretly had so many admirers and so many followers that when this being's thinking changed and iniquity was found in this being by the Creator God, then there was going to be a problem because this being was very revered and did have many admirers, including the Creator God. But the mindset of Lucifer changed gradually over time. And when the God Creator created the human being with the spark of the Creator God in it with the intention of the creator God spreading his seed and expanding Lucifer this greatly admired follower of um, the creator God secretly loved the Creator God, but secretly also envied the number one position, shall we say. It did become, as my fantasy goes, that way to where secretly Lucifer wanted to have be a god. He already was in a way because they're kind of all gods, but the creator God, um, when the creator God created the human, Lucifer did was told by the creator God, this has the spark of life in me, in my creation, and I expect you to look over my children because we were like God's children. Because, you know, when you procreate male and female naturally, you produce spark of life children. This can only be done by two natural, authentic human beings combining male and female to produce a human being that has the spark of life. All other creation is life, but it is not the... It is like from a different source, you see, because common sense, isn't it? That if we were originally, the human being only I'm talking about, I'm not talking about anything else, okay? You, it may extend in small amounts to animals if they are authentic natural animals, but I'm not going to go there. That's another fantasy, you know. But, you know, if the human being comes from the God and that is a natural spark, that is only from the creator God, that can only be achieved by the male-female natural coming together to create that spiritual human being that has the spark of God, the original creator God in them. Any other creation is different to that, okay? And this and this was um, in the in the oh dear, I'm terrible at this. In the story, in the fantasy, in the fairy tale, which I believe in fairy tales, as I've said, then the Lucifer, the Satan, that was God's number one in heaven, did not want to look after the children of God because this being 
secretly wanted to be the god was was and and because, and did not but more, most importantly resented that creation because he was asked by god to keep an eye on the children and want to, and the this being did not think it was wise for God to be spreading his seed around. And he did not think it was wise or did not like it because that he felt maybe that there was the creator God and there was him and others. And he was Lucifer, I say he, but was um, God-like, close to God, a God being too eternal and he did not think he knew that the humans because they had the spark of the original creator god in if they were if they multiplied and continued there would be many more gods because they would eventually develop into the seed would develop into a big tree which would be a god okay if they were allowed to naturally develop or evolve but this did not happen of course but and this did not happen because the story goes that the Lucifer being like I say wanted to be equal to God all along the creator God anyway because he was so used to being admired and revered and he was I would imagine timeless, eternal, etc. So he was on that path, but he did not like the idea of a, a, of a large number of others that would also be equal. Then you see, it's like some people do not want to have children. Okay, they want to just be singular. They want to be their own. Uh, you see that. You see that. I mean, I was like that myself at times where you do not want to um, have children. You do not want to expand your uh, seed. You say, I am the seed. That is enough. I shall have all the attention. I shall make everything just for myself. I shall be the only seed, the only God. I'm not putting this very well. You see what I'm, but you get what I'm saying. So um, the Lucifer in the heaven um, sorry the video is uh, just hold on for a second that is the that is the matrix you see of course of course it is the matrix but it also is reality. Like, see, to me, that is the matrix. An interruption of your thought, because this matrix is vast. It is complicated. It is not just a physical, practical world that we think. Everything happens for a reason. Everything is manoeuvred, controlled. Um, that is how it works. And even a telephone call, something quite simple, when you might have a train of thought, you might be in the... This, and then you have that choice. You see, I could pick up the phone and close the video down, which is what I was about to do, because I know that I will be in trouble for not doing that. But, you know, um, that's the choice, because, you know, maybe I'm more silly than what I used to be or more um, spiritual, depending on which way you look at it, okay? But um, now, see, now I've lost my train of thought. And I already was not putting the story very well. But the, the, the point is that um, in the fantasy story of the original heaven and earth, and this is now hell, because there is really only heaven and hell, because what happened evidently was in the story and and it is a, and for some people this is a fact anyway if you're religious along a certain line but i would say that all religion is very um 
Most religion that we have in this world is part of the matrix because the matrix decides what religions there are even because the matrix God controls. This is his matrix. This is his her matrix because the God entity is a neutral um, male-female entity now, uh, different to the humans originally that were male and female created by the God creator entity that was in heaven with the entity that now controls our world, Lucifer. Um, a technological God, if you take it that way. Therefore, some other people will use different names to describe this God. You know, I'm going back to the fantasy biblical type Garden of Eden, original religious kind of story that was in a book that was called a Bible. Okay? But, you know, I have not read this whole book. I have not read much of it at all. So this is just my fantasy. This is just the fantasy, the fairy tale. But at any rate, um, the Lucifer did not want to look after the children that had the God spark in them. He did not think it was a good idea to have human beings. He was happy being number one in heaven. He thought that like happens in a lot of families. You can be happily married and you have a husband and a wife. Maybe not these days, but in the past. I shall keep on a past fantasy level, okay? Because it gets too complicated if I go into the matrix as it is now where we have all different people breeding and doing all sorts of different things, which, you know, I can't keep up with all that to myself. Now, um... <clears throat> Yeah, if you have like a husband and a wife and then you have children, then all of a sudden your whole mindset becomes to where those children are just as important as you, sometimes more important. So the scene changes, and this is what happened in the heaven scenario with Lucifer, that scenario of God having children, you could say. He wanted to just stay married and living with God and him being number one because the children were going to distract and they would also end up, if they evolved, equal to Lucifer. Lucifer had his own children, his own followers in heaven, his own disciples that worshipped him. He had no need of extra children, you know, and God expected him to look over the humans and he did not want children. He liked God up to this point, even though he secretly did see himself as equal to the creator God, you see, and want, and would have been quite happy to be the number one, regardless, I would imagine. But that was where the iniquity comes in, where they say the iniquity, the fault was found in him, that he um, was not as pure and as wonderful and as... Um, this wonderful being that God had thought. There were faults in him. Her. And God did not see these either because God worshipped Lucifer as much as Lucifer worshipped himself and worshipped the creator God or at least certainly served the creator God. And this was where resentment and anger and jealousy came in. <coughs> Resentment, jealousy and anger at the human being and at God too for creating and for having children when he did not want to have children, did not want the God entity to spread the seed and have children. He liked it the way it was and if anything only wanted to expand his admirers in the heaven realm. But anyway, this is very much like another fairy tale Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which most people are familiar with. And this just come to me because I love fairy tales and used to read these things. Now, in that, we have the, the Queen, 
the queen of all the land. A similar scenario. The matrix and the God entity loves and is quite open and honest about his feelings in a way. He puts them into the fairy tales and in and all the truth into the movies, etc. It's not like we are deceived and we are manipulated by the matrix to go negative, but we are also shown the truth. It's just that we don't see it, you know, or at least, like I say, for me, the fantasy is the reality and the reality is the fantasy. In other words, I should be going along and taking more notice of the fairy tales in my world than of the reality that is around me. But, you know, that is the reverse world we live in. That is the... Um, that is the reverse world we live in because Lucifer reverses everything. Lucifer reverses everything that is human and that God, in, the creator God intended for humans because, yes, when he was asked to leave heaven because he would not look after God's children and because he... Um, decided then I will try to be number one. Um, I do not go along with this. But also something happened to his mindset, I believe. This is what I have been informed. He originally was, Lucifer was, much more of a pure being. And God was not wrong to idolise him or to have him number one beside him in heaven. Because he changed at some point when the resentment, the anger and the hostility um, came into his mind. But this also, I'm told, and I'm inclined to believe it in the fantasy realm, was that this also was that God told Lucifer when... He told Lucifer, just as he told Adam and Eve, do not eat of the tree of good and evil. Do not eat of the tree of knowledge of life. It will surely make you die. Now that sounds silly because see, Lucifer says, yes, that would. Be. why would you not want to have knowledge? Why would you not want to know good and evil? Well, see, this is, and Lucifer himself disobeyed the creator God when, this is what I'm told, when he was told not to do or go to certain places. Lucifer himself is a traumatised um, being. Lucifer himself, mind, he had a little bit of iniquity in him when he was in heaven. But after God told him not to go into a certain area which was negative, Lucifer himself was extremely traumatised. Lucifer himself's mind was transformed into negativity. Now, this was not his fault or her fault, but it changed and changed Lucifer completely then to where um, he no longer could think um, in a balanced way. He became insane almost, you could say, at a technical level. Now, this was because he disobeyed the kindly instructions, advice, shall we say, as God advised Adam and Eve, do not do this, or at least Eve, whatever. But instead, like Adam and Eve and like most of us, we say, well, particularly in his case, because he would have said, hey, but I am immortal, I'm eternal. I can go anywhere and do anything I want because nothing can harm me. So he did not take the advice. And he was not killed or destroyed, as you can see, but he was traumatised because even a god can be traumatised evidently. And so it changed his mindset. And that mindset that he was changed into when he created the matrix and decided to take revenge almost you could say because he was angry and jealous of God's spiritual beings that was that were meant to develop into and yes would have become godlike and would have um, 
He saw them as a threat to him, but then when he became traumatised, he could no longer see straight, so he was like, I, and then God said, now you must stay out of heaven. Because if you come back into heaven now that you are traumatised and out of balance and no longer this high revered being that I once admired and that was pure and, and was worthy of sitting next to me in heaven, now if you come back, you already have many admirers, many disciples and followers. A third of heaven is the story, as the as some of us um, would have been told. I very loosely know these things, I say. So that's why it's a fantasy story. But he knew then if he came back into heaven, he already had a third of followers that worshipped him, but he was, would come back as a traumatised, insane, out of balance, being much much worse than before when he left, when he already was did not want to look after the humans, but and 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 secretly saw himself as a par with the Creator God, but was quite willing to serve him and stay with him. But when he came back, he was a different being. So God said, "No, you cannot stay in heaven now because you must leave." So that was when. He him and his fellow angels, fellow beings, were cast out. This is what they call the fallen angels, I guess. They were fallen because he took them with him because they loved him and they made the choice to leave with him instead of staying with God or the Creator God. The other that was a choice, you see. See, even the we there's always choice. Um, God, the Creator God always gives choice, and. Um, these beings probably did not realise that he was so traumatised and had changed so much, or maybe they just loved him so much that they could not relinquish their admiration and so followed him. But that is what you call the fallen angels. And God uh, told them to go because he had to tell them to go because if Lucifer had come back traumatised and insane and stayed, he would have infected the whole of heaven because he already had a third that adored and loved him, which God was quite happy with that. The Creator God was happy with that, evidently. But, you know, yourself, if if you have a certain following, that following will expand if you have influence and if, if, if they love you. And, and then if that individual has been traumatised into an insane state, well you know, figure it out yourself, that would mean that all of heaven would be end up the same. Because Lucifer, and if this, if you take this story, this biblical, fantastic story, as any sort of reality, and it doesn't matter if it is or not, we all know that if you love and follow someone and you have a certain mindset, then you will impart that mindset for good or for bad. If it's warped, then you're insane. Then you will make your followers and your minions and your disciples that way over time. And that was why God had to tell him, no, you can't come back to heaven because he knew that then heaven would become like Lucifer and that would be an out-of-balance not spiritual pure being that he was before and certainly nothing like the creator god so that is why he was the fallen angels were cast down out out okay so i'm going to take it into my fantasy story now and i you can take it for what it will this is what i'm going to fantasize see lucifer then became not as human not as spiritual because he became insane and he became angry and resentful and spiteful. Like in Snow White. I'm going to go back to Snow White. I hope I'm not losing everyone here. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. We have the wicked queen that ruled the land. She wasn't really wicked in a way, but she became wicked. But she started out, she just was queen. She ruled the whole land. She loved being admired, just as Lucifer does. She demanded worship. That's why she went to the mirror every day and said, mirror, mirror, on the wall, who is the fairest of them all. She needed that reassurance continuously. Lucifer is the same. 
And she also became like Lucifer in that fairy tale which he has given us. Lucifer has given us these fairy tales, strangely enough. He tells you what is. He hopes you will understand. I understand. You don't have to necessarily agree, okay? Um, or go along with it. That's, I suppose, the point. Because it's one thing to understand and feel sorry for trauma and for insanity. But if you join it and become it, then you will make your whole world that way. And this is what has happened in our matrix. This is what our matrix is. It is a matrix of duality and insanity and in everything in reverse, everything the opposite to what it originally was, where there was meant to be harmony and um, not the good and the bad, not the knowledge of good and evil, not the knowledge of good and evil, just all good because you don't need knowledge of evil, I don't think. Once you have too much knowledge of good and evil, the evil corrupts the good. If you don't know evil, you live only good, in harmony, in peace, in love. Well, that's common sense to me. But we don't live like that. I have not lived like that. That is why the world is a reverse, topsy-turvy, upside down, and now do-anything world where 